It is a pleasure to be here with all of you today as we get ready to open all seven of our Lego themed lands for the first time to our guests. <laughs> Throughout our journey, we've always had a wonderful relationship with Empire State Development and New York State. And I'd like to take this opportunity to thank them, to thank our community, local tourism, and government partners. A special thanks to Mr. Eric Gertler, President and CEO of Empire State Development. Marie Therese Dominguez, Commissioner of the Department of Transportation. Dr. Donald P. Christian, President of SUNY New Paltz and Co-Chair of the Mid-Hudson Regional Economic Development Council. And all of the members of the council that are here today. I'd also like to thank Orange County Executive Steve Newhouse. Goshen Town Supervisor Doug Bloomfield. City of Middletown Mayor Joe DiStefano. And all of the other local elected officials that have joined us from around the region this morning. We've also been joined by Maureen Hallahan, President and CEO of the Orange County Partnership. Michael Oates, President, Hudson Valley Economic Development Corporation. As well as all of our economic development partners from around the region. We also have our tourism partners. Bob Provost, President and CEO of the New York State Tourism Industry Association. Amanda Dana, President of Hudson Valley Tourism. And all of our other tourism agency partners from around the Hudson Valley. I'd also like to thank Todd Viorio, President, Hudson Valley Building and Construction Trades Council. Thomas Carey, President, Westchester Putnam Central Labor Council. And all of our brothers and sisters from labor who are here with us today. Thank you. I think it's fair to say this project has been a labor of love, more than seven years in the making. Uh, we face many challenges throughout our development, especially those of the past year. But I am proud to say that Merlin Entertainment's commitment to this project has never wavered. This is Merlin's largest investment in a single attraction to date. I grew up in Orange County, and I've chosen to raise my family here. And it is a special thrill to see Legoland New York come to life next to our hometown. We promise to be a good neighbor and a community partner for decades to come, as our other eight Legoland parks have done globally. I'm also proud that we can play a part in the rebirth of New York State's crucial tourism economy. Legoland Hotel is open for bookings as of August 6th, and when that opens, it will mark the final phase of our opening. We know that people around the region are yearning for something to do as a family. At Legoland New York, kids 2 to 12 and their families can build, they can play, they can climb, they can ride, they can have fun, and most importantly, they can build unforgettable memories together. And so for that, I want to thank you all for helping us make awesome happen here in Goshen, Orange County, and the Hudson Valley this summer. We would have not gotten to where we are today if it weren't for the strong support of New York State. And so for that, I'd like you to please join me in welcoming the 56th governor of the state of New York, Andrew Cuomo. Good morning. Good morning to all of you. Isn't it a great, exciting day? Let's give Stephanie Johnson a big round of applause. 
I am so excited to be here. First of all, because I love Legos. Uh, I think I was with Legos before most of you because I am older than most of you. Uh, but it is a, was a big part of my childhood, uh, the creativity, the ability to build, uh, the ability to see a goal come to life. Now, I don't know if there was a connection between all the work I did with Legos and all the building I did with Legos, and now I wind up governor, and I'm building airports and building a new Tappan Zee bridge, but who knows? I credit Lego with exciting <laughs> that creativity for construction. Uh, this is historic. This is the first new theme park in the Northeast United States in 40 years, and it's right here in Orange. Let's give it a big round of applause. <laughs> we thank Merlin Entertainments for believing in New York and making, uh, as Stephanie said, a major investment, $400 million. Let's give them a round of applause. And something this big doesn't just happen, right? Uh, when you talk about a concept like this, all these questions come to mind. You know, it has to be cited, and then you have to work with the state, and you have to work with the county, and you have to work with the towns and the villages and the cities. Uh, you have to work with labor. Can you do it? Can you do it? Can we still get big things done, right? Uh, that's a question. Everything seems so complicated nowadays, and everything seems so hard. Uh, but what happened here is you had a group of really dedicated, committed people who understood the obstacles and the challenge, but said, you know what, we're going to do it. We are going to get it done. And it was my pleasure to be part of that optimism and that energy. Uh, on the state side, that's Eric Gertler and Marie Therese Dominguez, who, who never say no. Uh, I want to thank the county executive, Newhouse, who was just on this from day one, called me 150 times. All he said was, Legoland, Legoland, Legoland. Stand up, Steve. Uh, and my good friend and a can-do mayor, Joe DiStefano, thank you so much for your good work. Stand up, Joe, take a bow. <laughs> Doug Blue Bloomfield, supervisor of Goshen, congratulations and thank you. Please stand, Doug. <laughs> we have Dr. Don Donald Christian from the Mid-Hudson REDC. Thank you for the work. Thank you for your guidance. Stand up, let's give Don a round of applause. And then we had to build it, and we have the best construction force in the United States of America with our women and men of labor. Todd DiOrio, thank you very much for organizing it and making it happen. This is really remarkable, 520 acres, okay? Uh, 50 rides, a 250-room hotel, all right here. We expect a $300 million impact just from Legoland itself. 1,000 jobs created by this project, and that's what it's all about. Thank you. But it does something even more, which is what Stephanie was mentioning with the tourism aspect. A major economic driver for this state is tourism. You all have heard of the I Love New York campaign. We advertise uh, internationally, I Love New York. I Love New York, what does that mean? It means come to New York, it is the state to visit. Now, we have New York City that we're all very proud of, and it's a great urban area, and it's a, one of the great urban areas on the globe. But New York City is only part of the New York story, right? Uh, that's 
you look at the state of New York, that's down at the southern tip there, and we have New York City, and we have Long Island, and we love them, but we then have the entire rest of the state. And a big part of our effort is to say, come to New York, see New York City, great, but explore all of New York. And what Legoland is going to be is a magnet, an attraction for a magnificent part of the state that has been unrealized to date. Come to the Hudson Valley. Look how magnificent. Look at the attractions. Come to the Hudson Valley. See Legoland. But you know what? Also come to the walkway over the Hudson. Also come to the Storm King Art Center. Also see Bethel Woods. Experience the Hudson River Valley that is one of the most magnificent places on the globe, inspired an entire school of artists uh, and landscape appreciation. Come see the Hudson River, one of the really uh, gifts uh, of Mother Nature. And that's what Legoland is going to do. Yes, the economics and the jobs of Legoland itself, but bringing people to see everything else that we have here. And it is going to be an economic engine for the entire region. And that's why we are so excited about it. I also believe it couldn't come at a better time. Now, Stephanie will say, oh, COVID slowed us down. Yes, COVID slowed us all down, right? COVID hit the pause button on life uh, and locked up the globe for over a year. It became about survival rather than living, right? The question over the past year and a half was, can we survive? Will we get sick? How do we deal with this? But we're now in the post-COVID period. And in the post-COVID period, people are saying, I want to get back to living. I want to get back to life. Life is not just about surviving. Life is about thriving. People want to get out of the house. The children want to get out of the house. The parents want the children out of the house. And I think in many ways you couldn't have a better moment to open all this pent-up demand, all this desire to get out and see things, and let the kids run around, and in this moment, Legoland, a national attraction, opens up. And it could not be a better time, not just for this state, but for this nation. Let's get back to life. Get back to life in New York State that went from the highest infection rate on the globe with COVID to today where we have the lowest infection rate in the United States of America. So we invite not just New Yorkers, but everyone in the nation. Come see this magnificent Legoland, enjoy, have fun, let your children be stimulated, let those creative energies flow, visit the Hudson Valley while you're here. The doors are open, we welcome you. It is a magnificent, magnificent achievement for the entire region, the entire state, and you should all be very, very proud of what you did. And Merlin Entertainment, Stephanie, thank you for the vote of confidence. We won't let you down. Let's open Legoland.
opportunity. More break down for my awesome community. I feel more awesome than an awesome possum. Dip my body in chocolate frosting. Three years later, I shot the frosting. Smelling like a blossom. Everything is awesome. Dip